And now, we have a heartline from Evie in Australia. Dear Supreme Master TV team, many thanks to Supreme Master Ching Hai and the Supreme Master TV team for producing the latest fly-in videos titled Humans Must Cooperate and Be Vegan for Lasting Peace and Happiness, March 6, 2023, and Heaven's Revelations About Future World Events, February 19, 2023. I personally never confirm or deny having inner experiences, but will share the following in gratitude. Individuals with their third eye on sufficiently will be able to perceive that those who have attained a sufficient spiritual level have been granted access to the blueprint behind creation. This is accessed by adepts with lightning speed, fraction of a second, just like how Supreme Master Ching Hai said, the conversation was very fast with heaven on February 19, 2023. Within this blueprint, the minimum universal standard for free will is the observance to the energetic equivalent of the Ten Commandments of the Holy Bible or the Buddhist precepts involving an Ahimsa vegan diet and lifestyle. Planet Earth goes through cycles of around 24,000 to 26,000 years. This time, we are currently in an ending of a cycle and changing of the format behind creation. Physical life tends to have a disproportionate element of suffering, so the format is changing to one of no physical bodies. It is not just no humans, but no sentient beings in physical bodies, so sentient spirits in mineral, insect kingdom, plant, animal people, cryptid, ET, human, planets, stars, etc. will have their physical incarnations terminated as part of the format change. Supreme Master Ching Hai said on February 19, 2023 that the wiping out of animal people and humans starts November 2027 and goes onward until 2031. Not sure when she received this information, but timelines have actually shifted. It is now in just a bit over five years that all physical bodies will be wiped out, which puts the end date at around 2028 and not 2031. In the last few years, some spiritual practitioners have noticed the timelines for the big wipe out of physical bodies dropping from decades to being just over five years from now. Because there has been too much suffering with physical bodies and humans mostly don't want to change and spiritually evolve. As most humans will not choose willingly to transition to veganism and it is not fair to have sentient beings suffer whilst humans do not change, veganism will be forced via the divine will of the Creator under this format change, whereby sentient spirits having incarnations in animal people bodies will be amongst some of the first to have their incarnations ended. Based on current present timelines, it is anticipated to occur within the next 12 months. These timeline changes mean less time for humans to cross the triple worlds to obtain liberation, but from a creational perspective, it results in less suffering overall, as sentient spirit will be having incarnations via energy bodies under the new format. Metaphysically speaking, there are about 7 or 13 stages or steps of grace within a cycle. We are fast approaching step 6 or step 12. From 6 to 7 or 12 to 13, things will be rapid fast with hardly any time to prepare or spiritually progress, so it will be like bracing for impact in the final step. To be on the optimal timelines, evacuations, bugging out, in or getting on a starship, etc. tends to occur around step 6 or 12. There will be safe zones and later a safe path. It is inbuilt into the format of creation for those with the eyes to see, ears to hear and purity of heart to know. The ending of the cycle and changeover to the new format will be a rough and chaotic transition due to the collective consciousness on Earth being not very high. As the old structures and the way are cleansed, the new format will be rolled out. The cleanse and format change is going to be installed throughout all of the multi-dimensional creation. For example, a great cleansing, something like 90% has already taken place in the so-called heavens, other spirit realms, dimensions within the triple worlds. 
even now as I type, there are those on earth who have direct attunement with the Creator and are receiving guidance and training to assist and serve others when the time comes. Anyway, I hope this helps provide another perspective that it is not all doom and gloom. Initially, things will seem tumultuous as we navigate the ending of a cycle and installation of a new format, when it really is an unfoldment of a divine pattern. In the long term, when we have gone through the change, it will be a very bright future under a better improved format. Thanks for reading and wishing you the best. Evie from Australia Insightful Evie, thank you for sharing your perspective on the future of the Earth. Heaven's purposes are to minimize suffering through the cleansing, and this is important to understand so that we do not get consumed by fear. May all who hear this message quickly switch to a spiritual vegan lifestyle and repent for violating the laws of heaven so that they can help usher in a golden era of peace on earth. May you and sun-blessed Australia forever bask in the holy light of the divine. Supreme Master TV Team P.S. Our Master has also read your heartline and wrote to you. Dear Wise Evie, with eagerness in my heart, I have read every word of your precious information, and thank you for graciously informing the world through your valuable insight. We, the team, truly appreciate your sharing rare divine knowledge, however heart-tormenting it might be. I pray humans will listen and wake up to save themselves from eons of transmigration in the cycle of lower existence, and to liberate themselves this lifetime by just a simple change of heart into the merciful vegan way of life. You are right about the year of 2028. It's just that I have bargained with heaven leniency for some more time. Still hope against hope that our world will wake up by some miracle or intervention. I pray hard and do the utmost to my capacity so that humans as we know not suffer endlessly in the trap of a delusional nightmare of darkness. They are just weak and vulnerable my heart aches and cries for their plight. It's not all their fault to be unable to resist temptation in such a confusing and chaotic world. Please let us pray that we will all be elevated into a higher consciousness to be able to understand the divine will as well as the unforgiving karmic law of the lower realms. May God still be ever love and help his ignorant children to change for heavenly goodness. May you live long to see that day. May the Almighty be forever your sole greatest love, and that He grants you bliss now and in eternity, with all my humble gratitude and love. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Well, that's what we call civilization. We welcome your heartlines, stories, and or cute loving animal people clips. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash heartline.